Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it is part one of the McCall's 7974 Sew Along. So today we're going to be working out what size we need, tracing our pattern and making some alterations. So let's get started. For this sew along you will need pattern, fabric, matching thread, pins, coordinating buttons, marking tools of choice, I like the friction pen and the prim mechanical chalk pencil, French curve, fabric scissors, paper scissors, you're also going to need an iron, ironing board, sewing machine and pattern making paper, all of which are too big to fit on this surface. Okay, the very first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything else is iron your pattern pieces flat and that is so that you can get an accurate trace. Once you've done that, we then need to work out our size. So I have my pattern envelope here. I have the first page of the instructions. The first thing I've done is gone through the pattern pieces and I've worked out which ones I need to trace. Now I'm going to want to make every version of this dress except for version C. I am not going to want to make the lantern sleeves. I'm not going to trace the shorter skirt either. I'm gonna measure the skirt length on C, but I have a feeling that I'm just going to make the skirt length for D. We'll see, we'll see as we go through. So I know I need to trace the sleeve pieces for A, for B, and the collar for D. I need to trace the bodice and the midriff and the skirt pieces but I don't need to trace the bottom sleeve pieces, which is 11 and 12. So I've gone down the list here and I've written down every single pattern piece that I need to trace. And as I say, I've left off lower sleeve C and sleeve stay, which is 11 and 12. So my list goes one to 16, missing 11 and 12. And I'm gonna cross those off as I've traced them out, just to make sure that I don't miss any pieces. Again, ask me how I know. My measurements are a 38 inch bust, 27 inch waist, and about 42 to 43 inch hips. Going by the pattern envelope, I should be a size 16 for the bust, between the 12 and the 14 for the waist, and a size 18 for the hips. I have the smaller pattern bundle here, and the finished garment measurements, I get asked about this all the time, how you work out what your size you need. What you wanna do is look at the finished garment measurements on the pattern pieces. So the bust measurement is on pattern piece number one. As I say, this one only goes up to a size 14. So on the envelope, the 14, has a 36 inch bust and the finished garment measurement on the 14 on the printed pattern tissue the 14 is a 39 and a half inch finished garment measurement so that is three and a half inches of wearing ease which is not as much as some patterns but it's still a little bit much for me even this though this is a shirt dress i would prefer mine to have about an inch or an inch and a half in this case of wearing ease because I'm going to trace the size 14. My bust is 38, finished garment measurement is 39 and a half. I am happy with that. That's my preferred fit. What's one of the things about wearing ease? You need to work out what fit you enjoy when you're wearing your clothes. That will then tell you how much ease to add into or take out of the patterns that you're making. The waist and hip measurements are on pattern piece 13 and 14. So according to this, I would, I would go for the size 14 waist because it's a 28 inch measurement. The size 12 is 26 and a half inches, which is an, about a, a half an inch to an inch below my actual waist measurement at the moment. Now the size 14 is a 28 inch waist on the pattern envelope. The size 14 on the pattern tissue, the finished garment measurement for the size 14 is a 31 inch waist. That's three inches of wearing ease around the waist. And for me, that's too much. That's not something that I would enjoy wearing. The size 12, which is from the 26 and a half inch measurement on here is a 29 inch finish measurement. And the size 10 is a 27 and a half inch finish measurement. So there's quite a big gap between the 10 and the 12. I'm actually gonna go for the size 10 for the 27 and a half inch measurement. I could of course go for the size 12 and use a slightly larger seam allowance. You know, if you do fluctuate in weight quite a lot, having a larger seam allowance in your dresses for letting in or taking out is a good thing, but I am losing weight at the moment. So I'm going to go for the size 10 
at the waist. This pattern does include the hip measurements, the finished hip measurements on the site pattern piece number 14. The size 10 has a 61 inch finished measurement. So usually if it was, if it was more fitted than that, I would usually grade from the waist measurement of the 10 out to say the largest size to accommodate my big butt. But the size 10 here has a 61 inch finished measurement around the hip area, which is gonna be more than enough for my 43 inch hips to fit into with plenty of wiggle room. If you don't have to grade between pattern sizes, just makes your life a little bit easier. So after all that, I'm gonna be tracing pattern pieces one through 16, ignoring 11 and 12. I'm gonna be doing a size 14 at the bust, a 10 at the waist and a 10 at the hips. So I'm going to go through and trace all of these pattern pieces out. I also get asked a lot why I trace, why I bother to trace my pattern pieces. This pattern cost me 10 pounds in the UK and I don't wanna to have to buy it again because I have, for example, traced, if I, the size 10, if I trace that one, it's then making it so that I can never make the size 14 or 16 ever again. And obviously I want to be able to make larger sizes in the future if my weight fluctuates. So I trace my patterns to preserve the original tissue. I also find that I have to do alterations. The alterations that I need to do to this pattern are actually fairly easy. I'm only needing to add length to the bodice, an inch of length to the bodice, but I don't like cutting apart and, and trying to do things with this tissue paper because if it goes wrong, again, I haven't then got a fallback. If, I tra if I've traced it out and I start playing around with the tracing and it goes wrong, I can come back to my original pattern and trace it again. So that's why I trace my patterns. You don't have to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. It's just a personal preference of mine. It's just something that I have gotten into the habit of doing since I've been buying independent patterns, which are even more expensive than this. And I don't want to have to purchase those again because I've cut one of the smaller sizes. Anyway, I'm going to get on and get this traced. Okay, so I have traced and cut out all of my pattern pieces. There are some that I need to alter. The first thing that I want to know is I actually traced a separate piece for cutting the interfacing for the front of the skirt. The skirt has an inbuilt facing in the actual front panel of the skirt here that you will need to interface. And I just find it easier to have that piece separate so that I can cut out my interfacing with ease rather than having to try and pin it onto the edge of the interfacing using this skirt panel with all the skirt in there as well. So that's one thing that I've altered. We have pocket piece, which is good skirt back which is all good we have the midriff we have the yoke the yoke actually comes as a pattern piece to be cut on the fold but you do need two of them so i have traced it as a full piece so that i can lay it out on a folded piece of fabric and cut the two that i need in one go it's just a personal preference of mine again we have bodice back which needs altering bodice front and we have the skirt front and the skirt sides front and back. Those pieces don't need altering, so I'm gonna take those out of the way. Okay, so as you all know, if you've watched any of my sew alongs or vlogs or waffles before, I need to add length to the torso of any pattern because I have a long torso. So I have done it slightly differently with this one. Now the lengthening and shorten lines for this pattern are on the midriff piece and on the back piece. I have found that if I lengthen and shorten the midriff it can throw out the proportions of the dress. Also this is a, not a dress that came with different cup sizes done for you, it's just a standard cup size and I believe they draft for a B cup. I am definitely not that. So far I have got away with not having to do full bust adjustments on any pattern pieces for these kind of patterns by going by the finished garment measurement, which is 39 and a half inches across the bust, and then adding the length to the bottom of this piece. And again, you get away with that because this is a gathered piece. If you add length to the bottom, you can see you're making it wider, which then means that it would be more difficult to fit into this seam, seam here because you have made this bottom seam wider than it's meant to be. This is the original line here and I've just added an inch of length to the bottom of that but because it has a gathering section in there you can gather that down slightly more to fit into the corresponding gathering section here and I find so far the three times that I've done this it works really well and it also means that this edge sits underneath my bust rather than just on it which I prefer the look of. So to add length to the front of my bodice I have I haven't done it to the midriff panel but I have put in the lengthen and shorten line so that if I do need to change this in the future it's it's clear where I can add that length in and I can very easily cut this length off because I have just as I say added in the extra inch of length to the bottom of this piece 
this was the original line and then this is an inch down so these are good i can take these away so i have added length to the front of my bodice so i'm going to need to add length to the back of my bodice and this is where the straight length and shorten line is positioned and for this one i'm not going to fuss with that uh, this back bodice this is the waistline here it doesn't have a midriff but it does have a yoke so when you're adding length to a pattern you want to draw a perpendicular line through your length and shorten lines and this will help you match up your pattern pieces when you've cut them apart to stick them back down so i'm going to take a piece of scrap paper i'm going to draw a rectangle for me it's an inch but whatever you need to lengthen your bodice by you want to draw two lines that amount apart and then we're going to cut our lengthen and shorten lines so cut all the way through your length and shorten line. You're then going to take the bottom piece of your pattern and you're going to line it up with the bottom of your one inch or however wide lengthen panel that you've made and try not to stick your sun tape to itself. You're going to make sure that's nice and straight and we're going to stick that down. And this is where that per perpendicular line comes in. We're going to continue that up through our one inch panel and then we're going to line it up with the perpendicular line on the top part of our bodice. This one does have a flat edge because it is to be cut on the fold, so you could line that up. I just find that I, I prefer to do it this way. So it's completely up to you. So once you're happy that that's all in line and nice and straight, I'm gonna stick this one down and then we need to true up our edges. So obviously this one is a straight edge, so this is going to be really simple. This one, there is quite a significant jog. So from the top point to the bottom point, I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to be adding a little bit to there and taking away a little bit from down here. So I'm going to need to put some tape along this piece. Okay. And now that's all done, I can cut that out. And there we have added an inch of length to the back bodice of our pattern. So I can now cut this out of fabric. If you have any questions at all, please let me know in the comments section down below and I will do my best to answer them. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye!